Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Yesterday we had made a detailed video on AWNC Mark II that is Airborne Early Warning and Control System and talked a little bit about AWNC Mark IA. Today that is in this video we will discuss in detail about the AWNC Mark IA as some significant progress is being made by DIDO for the new Airborne Early Warning Platform. As we already know that Indian Air Force is progressing a case for six more improved Netra AWNC Mark IA. These Airborne Platform will include improved and upgraded human mission interface, data links and mission suite. Several imported systems which were earlier used in Mark 1 will be replaced in Mark 1A with Indigenous 1 which includes ground-based data links, ground-based and airborne terminals, electronic intelligence systems and radar warning receiver. So on 8th January 2024, the Center for Airborne System or CAPS of DIDU has released an expression of interest for the Development Come Production Partner or DCPP for mission systems of AWNC Mark 1A on pre-owned Embraer 145 executive jet. The due date for the industry partners to respond to this expression of interest is 15th February 2024. Any Indian public or private limited company having experience in system engineering or complex system of systems, product life cycle design, development, manufacturing and fabrication, qualification, integration, evaluation on rig, integration on aircraft, flight test and having experience of certification of systems can respond to this expression of interest. Now looking at the prerequisites set by CAPS. In my opinion, only HL can be a perfect match. From private firms, TASL that is Tata Advanced System Limited can also be a most probable contender. Once the industry partner is selected, CAPS will further issue RFP to the industry partner for development and production of the mission systems of AWNC Mark 1A. This will happen in four phases, which are design, development, production and testing, long-term post-delivery support phase and export orders if there are any. Now since we're talking about mission system, let's try to understand what are all the mission systems of AWNC Mark 1A. The mission system comprise of an airborne segment and a ground segment. So if you talk about the main systems of airborne segments, it includes AESA based primary radar, PSA based secondary surveillance radar, mission communication system with software defined radio, communication support measures, electronic support measures, radar warning receiver, missile approach warning system, counter measures dispensing system, LOS and SATCOM data links. Talking about the various systems of ground segment, it includes ground exploitation station, mission planning and analysis station, operator training station, automated test equipment, MSC and DHDS lab. So the proposed mission system will be integrated on the pre-owned Embraer 145 aircraft procured and modified by the OEM and delivered to CAPS. Further, the aircraft will be modified into mission aircraft by CAPS of DRDO along with participating DRDO labs with support from DCPP followed by induction into user which is going to be Indian Air Force. CAPS will be transferring the technology to selected production partner or DCPP for development of the mission systems. The mission systems are to be developed for 6AWNC Mark 1A. CAPS will be responsible for integration of systems into the first two AWNC with DCPP in support role. From 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th system onwards, DCPP will lead the system integration and CAPS will be in the support role. 
Now, once the project is sanctioned and given funding by Ministry of Defense and DRDO starts getting those fund, the delivery of new AWNC Mark 1A can be completed within five years as it is based on the same executive jet platform on which Netra Mark 1 is built. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.